Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT to build business ideas. It's pretty simple and you can follow along with me as I get started right now. So here I did in terms of the prompt on the bottom. First, I put, I need some business ideas about getting more traffic to my YouTube channel. So the idea can be anything. It can be for starting an online business. It can be for an online business or a social media content strategy or a website, anything that you might currently have. And you want some more ideas in order to maybe get more traffic, sales or leads. I'll give you a couple of examples, but this is where I'm starting out. And then I put my YouTube channel is called Marketing Island and I demo and review software tools as well as talk about anything marketing related. So let's hit enter and see what we get. All right, so we got a good amount of information right here. I think there's going to be eight total if I scroll down. Talks about collaborating with other YouTubers, optimizing your videos for SEO, creating a consistent schedule, utilizing other social media platforms to share your videos, running a promotion, creating landing pages, teasers, and interacting with your audience. So despite the fact that these are pretty broad, you can certainly get a lot of extra traction and traffic if you focused on some of these and really, really focused. Like I know for a lot of people, say on YouTube, if they don't have a... If they don't have a uh, consistent schedule created, it would be definitely uh, certainly more welcome to them to get more traffic if they had done that. Instead of posting once a week, why not post five times a week? Just by adding more volume, they're probably going to get more traffic in the process. Of course, optimizing their videos for SEO, sharing, and so on and so forth. Now, here's the cool thing. Say you like collaborating with other YouTubers, but you're not really sure how to do it, when to do it, why to do it. We can dive deeper into this specific topic to get even more ideas about it. So give me one second. I'm going to write a prompt. All right. So I said, I'd like to collaborate with other YouTubers to grow my traffic. Please tell me about how I can do this as well as some of the steps that I can take. Pretty simple, right? This is going to be the next step. You say, oh, that sounds interesting, but you know, I don't know where to start. Who should I talk to? How should I talk to them? These are hopefully some of the things that can come up in our result. If not, we can ask those specific questions. Either way, let's hit enter and see what we get. Oh no, we got an error. If this persists, please contact to us. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm just going to copy this. Like I said, errors have been happening. I noticed that my marketing island icon isn't here. So it's not like loading properly or there's a ton of traffic. Uh, what I'm going to do is go back to new chat. Okay. So it's, it's having some loading problems. This is still loading on. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to hit enter and see if we can still go. All right, and here we go. So we got a good amount of information. It gives us some steps here. So identifying potential collabs, reaching out to them, planning it, following through, and then of course, following up if you don't get a response. And it says some other steps you can take to collaborate, host a cross promotion campaign, join a collab group with other YouTubers. See, like that's a good one. I knew about collabs, but didn't realize they have groups for that. Like you, if you thought about it a little, you probably would be able to, but off the top of my mind, that's a good one. Making a joint video, creating a series together, always being respectful, of course, and so on and so forth. So that's an example of when you have a business idea, how you can dive deeper into it and get even more ideas, more examples, more steps so that you can actually go from what do I need to do, having an idea, and then getting the strategies and steps laid out for you exactly as shown. Let's do one more example. Let's go back to new chat. And of course, we've got some ex uh, exceptionally high demand. So like as expected, it's going to be doing that. Give me one second. I'm going to enter in a prompt. Okay, so I gave a random example with someone saying they're completely new to the world of online business, but they love creating content for social media. So what are some business ideas related to that? I could have been more specific. I could have said something like, I love doing social media posts, like, or I love groups or something like that. Obviously, then we'd probably get some more related results. But for this, I'm going to keep it broad just so we can see what it's going to give us in a broad sense. Let's click on enter or the arrow. All right, And once again, it's taking a little bit longer to load. I'm going to go back, refresh it. Okay, let's hit enter and see what we get. Just like a quick tip for anyone, if that happens to be happening, happens to be happening. What a great phrase, James. <laughs> if you are if you hit enter and it's taking forever to load, what I do is just go back to new chat and I reload the page just so it kind of clears the previous queue and then does a new one. Usually that's a way of getting it to work. At this time, like there's a very, there's still, as I create these videos, there's a very high capacity of people coming in. There's a lot of traffic. So expect a few blips here and there. Uh, and this is just about done. So here are a few business ideas. We have social media management. We have influencer marketing, content creation, photography and videography is a good one. Didn't think of that. Graphic design, virtual events. So what you can do is once you have these specific ideas, find the one that means the most to you for say like content creation, eBooks, courses, and templates. You could not only create content for social media, but design eBooks books or create courses or do the videos for the courses if you're knowledgeable about that. And once again, if you want even more information, you're going to simply put it in. So for example, you like the content uh, creation ideas. 
Let's say you do the creation of eBooks and courses for others. So someone who is obviously very, uh, very busy and they don't want to go through like, you know, three weeks of creating courses because they have more important things to do. They could hire you and you can go about that. So what I would put if I was using that as an example, say, I'd like to create courses for entrepreneurs who are too busy to do them themselves. Uh, give me these steps in the processes for finding customers where I can do this, where I can hang out, how I can find these uh, customers, clients, and so on and so forth. And just ask more questions related about that. If there's anything you need to know when it comes to this, once you have some information, what's the first question that comes to your mind? Okay, how do I go about getting started when it comes to creating courses for others who are just too busy? And then go from there. Next question, go from there. As long as you have that mindset, you'll be able to keep asking questions and ultimately get the answers that you want. Then of course, last but not least is going to be implementation. Chat GPT can't exactly do everything for you. So that's where the rubber meets the road. Anyway, I hope you got some value out of this when it comes to using Chat GPT for some online business ideas. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.